All right, guys. I uh, we just had a, a big storm roll through here. Uh, we had an electrical surge. Uh, it killed power to the house a couple times in random succession, and the AC unit that we have mounted in our bedroom went out on us. It's a General Electric. The model number is AHTK08AAW1. Um, after doing ex extensive research, what was happening is, is that we were getting all the lights on the on the front display. They were flashing. Um, they were flashing. So there's the front display. It kind of gives you, but every light was flashing. We had an 88, and every couple of seconds it would flash and beep. You could turn it on, but the uh, the unit itself would turn right back off just like a few seconds after it but you could hear the condenser and the fan kick on so we know that was working after extensive research online we found out that it was this board right here something's gone bad with the board from what we've seen most of the issues revolve around corrosion on the board namely this chip right here um, they have sprayed like a waterproofing agent on the board. I guess they were having issues with condensation because of where the board is mounted because basically it's mounted kind of like in this general area right here where it kind of gets hot and cold over time. But the way to fix it, you can kind of hardwire it on and that involves cutting the wires off of this. So what you'll do is the board will be housed in this. You'll have to once you pull, there are two screws right here on the side, one on each side. You'll pull that and the front cover will just simply pull off. Now, when you pull that off, oh, sorry, and you're looking at the board, right here is where this black box is going to sit. And there are a total of one, two, three, four screws that you're going to have to remove to pull the little, the black box out. Two of the screws are easy to get to. One is right here. The other one is right there, but two of them right here and right here are underneath this foam material that you'll have to pull off in order to get access to it. And then after you've gotten access to the board out itself, you'll have to pull several additional screws these two screws right here which are small and then a screw right here so a total of three smaller screws that you have to pull and this will allow you to open this up with that open you'll have access to this this will just easily pull out right here there'll be another wire that's have somewhere ah there it is one second this wire right here will plug into this board right here this is I guess for the Wi-Fi because there is a USB dongle that connects to this unit right here I'm believing this is where the uh, Wi-Fi connection is so you can pull that loose because you're not going to need any more you can cut these wires right here. I'm going to cut them as close as I can to the board. And of those wires, you're only going to use four wires. So you've got all these wires right here we're not going to be using anymore. These wires right here we will be. So this is a black wire, a white wire. So you got power and ground, or you got neutral and hot, I should say neutral and positive. You've got a yellow wire and then you have what appears to be a pink wire right here. So these four wires are gonna be paramount to what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna pull back some of the insulation and we're gonna tie these all four of these wires together. So I'm gonna stop the video real quick and do that. Just get a pair of wire cutters or scissors or a knife and just gently remove that insulation back. Probably a good thumbs length. And then using, you can twist tie them together wrap it in some electrical tape or use a wire nut, whatever you have on hand. And you just wanna tie these four wires together. So white, black, yellow, and pink. And I'm gonna stop the video real quick, one second. 
all right guys well I've stripped those wires back the black the white the pink and the yellow and uh, I've just twisted the wire together I don't have a wire cap uh, small enough for these so I twist them together it's just fine as you can tell I've taken the other wires and I just kind of taped them down to the to the gray cord taped them out of the way so they weren't interfering with this as I stripped everything down so here in a minute I'm just going to throw some tape on this real quick and uh, we'll plug it in and uh, we'll see if it works all right now as you can see we put some electrical tape on that so that's on there now I'm gonna kind of just leave it probably like that but we're gonna plug it in real quick and we'll see how she does what well, kicked on Heard the compressor kick on, heard the fan kick on, and it's getting cold. So it's working. <laughs> That's crazy. That this board is causing this AC not to work. That something stupid like a capacitor or this chip or something burned out when we had that electrical surge. And uh, is the reason. Granted, I can't connect it to Wi-Fi. I can't use my remote control anymore with this. Um, I can't control whether it gets hot or, you know, what temperature to set this to. But you know what? I've got cold air. And if you're like me, I live in South Alabama. It, uh, it gets extremely hot. It gets extremely humid. And uh, it's just not comfortable <laughs> during the spring and summer. It's barely comfortable during the fall and winter. So I hope guys, I really hope this helped. All you gotta do is just cut, take that board out, cut it loose from this, and uh, just take, like I said, the black, the white, the yellow, and the pink, strip them, twist them together, throw some tape on it like this, and it'll start right up. The only sad thing is that it's, it's, it's on, so we're doing good, but the only way you can turn it back off now is you can either hit the test button and trip the breaker on it which I wouldn't do or simply just unplug it myself I would unplug it but yeah cold air thank God y'all have a good day bye oh and guys you may just be wondering oh what are you gonna do with this it's just hanging there flopping now um, I guess what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna put this empty wire back in this case I mean, in case, like I said, just simply opens up and uh, use the screws, attach it back to the case, to the um, to the cover of the AC, and uh, just let it sit in there. At least that way, I know it's protected. Uh, might as well use this for something instead of just throwing it away and adding to the plastic heat. But take care, guys. I hope this was helpful. Peace.